Iceland and its volcanic belt has 35 active volcanoes. When just one erupted in 2010, it paralyzed European air traffic for a month at a very high cost to airlines. Iceland's volcanoes could erupt at any time, so European scientists are closely monitoring them. They want to better understand what happens before, during and after an eruption. We uh, need to understand how we live better close to a volcano. Here in Iceland, it's a part of the daily life. And occasionally, once in a while, like in 2010, we have serious consequences for many more people on Earth. And in particular, we want to address how we can mitigate the effects of eruptions that provide threat from long-term transport of ash and gas. Different techniques have been developed. Scientists from the University of Florence just installed an infrasound device in an Icelandic forest. At the end of the year, there will be four infrasound installations throughout the country. This is the central station which collects all the data and sends it through Wi-Fi. At the moment, this data is received in Florence, in Italy, and it's also sent to the Icelandic Meteorological Office in Reykjavik. Today, we have to check one of the infrasound sensors. When an eruption occurs, the pressure wave from the explosion enters the atmosphere. This is what the infrasound arrays will pick up. We're able with these infrasound sensors and using the array sort of antenna to detect pressure variations produced by a volcanic eruption at tens, even hundreds of kilometers. If the pressure is very strong, we can detect it at thousands of kilometers. But the European Supersite research projects not only about infrasound devices. There's GPS, a strain network, gas sensors, water flow for hydrological chemical dispersion, electrical field sensors, weather radars, and ash fall meters. In future work, we have many researchers that have been working in Iceland, and now is the time to combine all their expertise uh, to provide maximum and better information on the status of the volcanoes, and then when we have an eruption, uh, about the progress of the eruption and how much volcanic ash is coming out of a volcano because that is so important for the aviation to understand how we fly safely. All the data from the different monitoring networks is analysed at IMO, the Icelandic Meteorological Office, which despite its name is a natural hazards monitoring institute. Everything is done in real time, 24-7, to warn the civil protection services and air traffic control as early as possible. To monitor the magma movements, we use the, the seismic uh, location of earthquakes. The GPS networks show us the deformation of the volcanoes, where they're expanding, contracting, things are moving. We are setting up a database in a data service at IMO, it's the FutureVolk uh, database, and uh, it will uh, enable people to access all this data from all these networks on the ground, and also to find ways to get um, to data from satellites. If the Katla volcano, the largest in Iceland, was to erupt, the chaos in the air traffic would be far more important, multiplying the economic losses for Europe. But with these new methods and a better knowledge of volcanic crises, a warning, even a short-term one, is still better than none at all. These new data can prove vital next time. There could be uh, an eruption in Iceland today, um, or next week, or next year. Uh, it is difficult to give the what we call sort of the medium-term warning that uh, says when a volcano will erupt.